Hi, my name is Ebony Stevenson, and I am the USDA Access and Accountability Organizer here at the National Young Farmers Coalition. Today, I'm going to be talking about the application process for applying for the USDA Discrimination Financial Assistance Program, also known as DFAP. If you need technical assistance to complete your application or just interested in receiving more information, please feel free to contact Rachel Stewart at Rachel, R-A-C-H-A-E-L, at youngfarmers.org. Don't forget, the deadline to apply is January 13th, 2024. Now, there are multiple ways that you can submit an application for the Discrimination Financial Assistance Program. You can submit one online via the e-filing system. You can mail a paper copy to your regional office, or you can drop off a paper copy in person to your regional office. Now, there are some benefits to applying online through the e-filing system. A couple of them are you get instant access to your application status, you get instant access to correspondence sent by program staff, you can directly upload your supporting documents to the website, and you can Sorry, Letitia, I'm going to have to do a take two. My brain had just farted. <laughs> You got to forgive me on that one. <clears throat> okay. <sighs> Take two. Hi, my name is Ebony Stevenson, and I'm the USDA Access and Accountability Organizer here at the National Young Farmers Coalition. Today, I'm going to be talking to you about how to apply for the USDA Discrimination Financial Assistance Program. If you would like more information, or need technical assistance in completing your application, please feel free to contact Rachel Stewart at Rachel, R-A-C-H-A-E-L, at youngfarmers.org. Don't forget, the deadline to apply is January 13th, 2024. Now, there are multiple ways that you can submit an application. You can submit an application online through the e-filing system on the website. You can mail a paper copy to your regional office or you can drop off a paper copy in person at your regional office. Now there are some benefits to applying online via the e-filing system. One is you'll get instant access to your application status. You can log into your account and see the status of your application as it progresses through the review phase. In addition, you can get instant access to the correspondence sent by program staff. This includes information on the completeness of your application and any requests for additional information to avoid any processing delays. And number three is you can upload your supporting documents directly to the program website. This will allow you to upload relevant documents directly to the website instead of trying to include them in a paper application. <clears throat> now, if you would like to mail a paper application, you can download a copy of the application on the website at 22007apply.gov. If you need the application in a language other than English to Spanish, you can contact the DFAP call center at info at 22007apply.gov or via phone at 1-800-721-0970. Once again, that's 1-800-721-0970, or you can email them at info at 22007apply.gov. In addition, you can email the national administrator at info at 22007apply.gov and request that the application be mailed to you. Now, don't forget, please do not email your application or the supporting documents for this program. Now for the submission and, and instructions for this is you want to make sure that when you're filling out a paper application that you're only using black or blue ink. The application must be readable by those who are reviewing it. If they are unable to read your application, this may result in a denial or request to provide an updated application. You want to use e either the check mark or an X when you are selecting boxes on the application. Also, a signature is required on the application. You want to also make sure that all the documents that you submit, including your application and all the supporting documents, have your social security number or your individual taxpayer identification number printed at the top of the first page of each document. 
you want to make sure that you keep your own copies of all the supporting documents that you submit in your application. Do not include original supporting documents with your submission. They will not be returned to you and may be destroyed after the program concludes in accordance with records management requirements. To submit your app, your paper application, you can send the form itself and any um, appendices and copies of your supporting documents in one of the following ways. You can mail them first class or overnight to the appropriate regional hub. You can choose based on the location of the farm that is subject to this application. And the list of states and uh, commonwealths and territories are all this information is on the website. Um, in addition, um, there are different um, regional offices for your location. So you can go directly on the website and look at like region one um, is in Bethesda, Maryland. Region two um, is in Florida. Region three, <coughs> excuse me, is in Oklahoma. Region four is also in Oklahoma. So you can submit uh, and get the, uh, the direct addresses for these regional offices directly on the website and mail those in. In addition, you can drop off your completed application and the supporting documentation to any of those dedicated, excuse me, dedicated local offices, which the addresses and information is also on the website. Now, if you need more information, like about the office list, if you want to mail in a paper application or you want to drop it off at the local office, you can also reach out to us. Um, but I do believe if it is at all possible, the e-filing system is the easiest way to go to make sure that you can get the application and your supporting documents in on time and not have to travel a long distance. If you would like more information about applying for the Discrimination Financial Assistance Program, DFAP, or you need technical assistance in completing your application, don't forget to reach out to Rachel Stewart at Rachel, R-A-C-H-A-E-L, at youngfarmers.org. Thank you so much for your time. Have a great day.